What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about the cons and pros of plastic ink bottles versus glass. Um, I got asked this question a little while ago um, and so I thought I'd make a quickie video here for you all. Uh, try and do it super quick because there's not a whole lot to, to talk about but um, some ink come in plastic bottles, some in glass. So what are the pros and cons? Well there's a couple. Um, first pro uh, for plastic is it definitely makes it easier to ship, um, you know, much less of a chance of it breaking. Um, if it freezes the ink uh, and it expands and contracts, it's got a little bit more wiggle room than something would in glass uh, because it's much more likely to break. Uh, a pro for plastic as well, uh, it is, I would imagine, cheaper to ship as well, especially in bulk. Uh, individual bottles for us consumers, uh, we just have to suck it up. But I imagine for the uh, manufacturers, uh, people who are buying for like retail stores who are buying like vast quantities, uh, it's probably cheaper to ship plastic bottles because it weighs a lot less. Um, so this is a 60 mil bottle of ink. This is a 30 mil bottle of ink. And next to each other, the glass bottle is heavier than the ink, even though it is twice the volume of uh, ink. So it's certainly less uh, weight. Um, and I mean, this is 50 mil and it is significantly heavier because of that solid glass at the bottom. And of course there are varying shapes and sizes and I won't get into that uh, because ultimately that doesn't matter. We're just talking about the material. Um, but, uh, typically in, in the plastic world that I have seen, they've been very tall like this, whereas glass ranges like crazy. Um, so I don't know if that's done on purpose or if it's just easier to manufacture tall bottles, like tall skinny bottles, um, that are plastic versus glass. Uh, but who knows? Um, that's neither here nor there. Um, but I will say tall, skinnier bottles are a little bit easier to fill from, um, especially if they have a larger opening. Uh, so something like this, this Troublemaker ink, it kind of sucks because they've chosen the tall, skinny, but it's a small opening. Uh, so you can't really get a wide variety of nibs in there. Um, something like the Robert Oster is much wider. Um, so you can probably get anything in there. Um, but if you've ever used like a Noodler's uh, bottle, which is glass, uh, then it would be much, much easier to fill from something like that. Um, but of course they're uh, glass. Uh, pro for glass over plastic, uh, especially something that's got like a wide base like this. Um, again, I'm sure there are plastic bottles that aren't um, tall and skinny, but pro for glass is because it is heavier, it is much less likely to be knocked over while filling um, than a plastic bottle would be. Um, another pro for glass is that usually, uh, and this is individual, <laughs> so it, it might just be me, but a pro for me with glass is that it is a little bit more visually appealing. Uh, the aesthetics behind the container, even something as basic as um, this Birmingham Pens bottle, uh, which is basically just like a, a mini noodlers almost, <laughs> uh, looks a little bit more visually appealing uh, than plastic. Um, so that again is, is neither here nor there. I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, it doesn't super matter because all my inks are in a drawer away from sunlight anyways. Um, you know, something like the Hiroshi Zuku bottles, which I believe are some of the prettiest bottles. Um, and I think they're gorgeous. It's a bit of a waste because again, they, they just sit in a drawer, um, but they are nice when you have them out and you're filling and you're making YouTube videos and you get to show it off. <laughs> Um, uh, glass, I'm sure the debate rages as far as what is more environmentally friendly between the plastic or glass, um, glass, you know, lasts longer. It doesn't break down like plastic does. Uh, I have not heard of any plastic ink containers, um, you know, breaking down and, and destroying the ink essentially inside it. Um, you know, like we haven't really had plastic bottles uh, long enough 
to, to have that problem. If you've heard of anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, glass won't break down ever. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe if it's in the right circumstance, it could, but um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the disintegration of it uh, with time. But I mean, even with plastic, I bet you you'd be long dead before it would break down. Um, and I doubt that you'd be passing ink on to generation to generation. So it's a little bit of a moot point as far as that goes. Um, but, you know, you could melt glass uh, and, and make new bottles. Theoretically, you could with plastic, but I know you can only do it so many times. Um, so I'm not super, like I haven't researched the, the benefit of plastic versus glass. So I know there is that debate, um, with people on both sides of the coin saying that glass is more environmentally friendly, that plastic is more environmentally friendly. At that point, you just have to do your own research and see what side of the fence you sit on. Um, but where I'm sitting at is like, you know, if I'm going to buy an ink, it doesn't really matter whether it's plastic or glass um, because ink is going to last me forever and I'm probably going to have it for a very long time. Um, so that to me doesn't really play a factor, um, but I know it could for some. So definitely do your own research if that is your sole deciding choice um, between the two. Um but that's really the only pros and cons of them that I can think of. Um, you know, the, the rest of the potential pros and cons go more into build style, uh, which isn't really fair because it's no longer about the actual material um, and instead about the design that the company chose to do. Um, yeah, so like we, we can't really get into that. So because otherwise I'd have to nail something like this where it's glass, but it's like one of the worst design bottles ever. So, <laughs> you know, I would put that in, into like a crappy kind of territory, but, you know, you, you can't get into the design of the bottle when you're just talking about sheer material. So that's sort of neither here nor there, in my opinion. Um, so it's possible that uh, there are more pros and cons that I have not even thought of, uh, which is why I decided to make this video because I'd be very interested to take a look in the comment section down below. Uh, what are your pros and cons for glass versus plastic? Do you think it's worth discussing uh, as far as like, you know, a fountain pen community goes? Um, or do you not? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you thought it was interesting, hit that like button. If you liked it but haven't done so already, do hit the subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. Um, guys, if you're still watching eight minutes in, I appreciate you very, very much. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.